Good day, ladies and gentlemen. We'll try and make this real quick. Um, we're going to go over a couple of the advanced settings on the uh, receiver. Since it's come to light that some people might be set up wrong, or just need a little help with settings. Da -da 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 -da. Nah, let's just do this file. receiver up there. Alright guys, so the receiver and I mean the channel you know that's mine, me. Your username and password goes here. Okay, the first one we want to talk about is forex symbol suffix. Um, some of you get an error saying that it can't find your forex symbols. So if you look, it's a little bit small but it says EURUSD and then it has a little letter I at the end of it. If you have that, all you need to do is click in here. Or it might say FX, or it might say something else. You just need to add the extra letter. If your forex symbol has an extra letter at the end, you add it in here. Other than that, uh, pretty simple. Let's see, we're going to go down and next... Okay, so allow slippage pips. Let me get in and I'll explain it real quick. Allow slippage tips determines how close your price needs to be to my price. So, like for example, if my price is 1 and yours is 1.5, that still falls within it. Now, typically that's not going to be too much of an issue. That's just going to be broker variations. Two pips should do it. If you have to go above two pips, please let me know so we can take a look at what prices you're getting. Basically, I'll team viewer into your screen. I don't want to see what prices you're getting because if they're really out of whack, we want to know. Now, the next thing we want is when we're doing news trading. And it's going to be down a bit, I believe. Is it? I'm sorry. Let me find it real quick. D -d 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 required. Uh, I mean it's max slippage is what I'm looking. Round up. Broker minimum. Uh, round up to broker minimum. I'll mention that one. Some people might have to turn that on because you're doing. I'm only doing three percent trades, and it might be slightly below what you have. Close, close, close. Where's the one I'm looking for? Figures I couldn't find it. Where is spread? It's the one that deals with the spread, that if the spread gets too large on your end, it will not take a trade. Ah, uh, man, I am just... Alright, let me pause and I'll find it. Okay, so obviously I'm blind. <laughs> Let's start off. So if we scroll down, it's right here, max spread pips. This is the one you want to take a look at for the news trading. If you've got stuck if you got stuck on the news trading, this is going to be uh, what keeps you out of the trade if your spread goes ape shit and mine doesn't, which I think is what happened on a few people. Um, to be honest, like one guy, I got 13 pips on Euro on the last trade, like here's the, this was the last news trade we did, 13 pips, but one other person got 23 pips because their spread was better than mine. So it works both ways, but max spread pips, I would say start next time, like the, there's a UJ news tonight, if you get a chance, watch it and see what your max spread goes to. If it gets out of hand like 6 pips and it's a 20 pip estimated move plus the 2 pip that we allow, that's saying 8 pips can be given. And I'm only going for a 10 pip move. You might, it, I would say set this at 5 so we could at least, um, 5 or 6 I would say. So it keeps you out of really big spreads. Anything over that we don't want to be trading. If my spread's over 5 or 6 pips, I won't be trading. But this is the one you want to look at. So the, the ones we want to focus in on today, max spread pips, do 5 or 6 and allow slippage pips, let's keep it at two. If you have to go higher than that, just let me know. I know there's a few of you that did have to go higher than that, but the combining the max spread pips with the allowed slippage pips, it could get dangerous. 
So if you're going to make those changes, let me know. Max spread pips, I do highly advise. Let's put that in. Five or six pips. And keep this at two. And I'll send a couple pending orders, make sure nothing's funny. And then tonight we have the UJ trade. So hopefully that will fix a few problems. Remember, uh, Forex suffix, that's the letter I if you have some weird things like I do. Other than that, we'll start off the week tonight at, let's see, what's the first trade? Uh, 7.50 p.m. Eastern. It's a preliminary GDP QQ on JPY, US, or USD JPY. Other than that, guys, I'll see you tonight. Have a good one.